Hey YouTubers, Diecast Collectors. It is me, the JMan63. Today I have a review that I think is going to get pretty popular. That is of the Hot Wheels Legends Mongoose Tom McEwen's Funny Car. And this is a pretty rare piece if you happen to find it. The most significant part is this has the Larry Wood sticker seal on this. This is out of Larry Wood's personal collection. However, this box did not come with this car, but this was on display. This car is near pristine, near mint. We're going to go into some of the details on this car, but you'll know exactly why I like this model and I like this series of collectibles and you will find out after I show you the pamphlet, but honestly, this model probably has a level of detail in 124 that is second to none. And this was a rare car because on this pamphlet it says only twice for a total of less than 12 seconds did Tom McEwen power his mongoose funny car down the drag strip. However, there was more than enough time to establish it as legendary hot rod era. Earn the additional adoration of adultation of racing fans sorry my mouth is a little tongue-tied today retired after two races this funny car existed only in drag racing lore until now this exclusive custom replica is a tribute to the thrill speed and power of the funny cars of the 70s as a collector's edition, it is destined to be a treasured showpiece for automotive enthusiasts for years to come. Now, this is a, definitely an adult collectible. However, I have to get the 164th. And what I'd really like to find here is a nice little funny car prop I can get from a model kit, paint black, or maybe 3D print it when I get a 3D printer. But I'll have to get this little prop thingy. And then what I'll have to do is I'll have to get the car to make this a matching set. Now, what really threw me off was the intake manifold. However, that is exactly how that car is supposed to be, interestingly enough. That's how the intake is. It's a Weber style injection, so that is not supposed to have a blower hat. So in the live stream, I made a little mistake, and apparently this spoiler was moved to the rear after a while. This actually has the rip cords. This model has just about everything up to the nines of detail. To be honest with you, it's almost a Danbury uh, mint level of detailing. We're going to go on the outside of the body. Now, keep in mind, um, this steering knuckle sometimes, it likes to um, come apart, but it's easy enough to fix that issue. But we'll go over all the detailing on this car. And it will be an interesting journey for sure. Okay, so the steering knuckle is minor because that suspension is supposed to work. However, that's the only issue I've seen with this model now. The graphics are extremely nice. And in fact, I'm almost tempted to put this in a case pretty much right away to keep the dust off this thing, to keep it from getting rash or whatever. But this is just an extremely nice model, I will say. It's full die cast body, nothing's plastic. And you have to be careful where you hold this because it will certainly flip open on you if you're not careful. That's why it's called a flopper. Funny car, sorry, I, I just got a message. That is why this is called a flopper. And around back, you can see the twin parachutes. Like I said, I have to be careful where indeed I hold this model because this is just such an expensive piece and I don't want to drop it. I paid $120 for this model. The only defect is a small nick on the top, but if you're not looking really closely, can't really see it. And the fact that this is out of Larry Woods collection is pretty cool. All right, so rear suspension works. The rear suspension actually works on a funny car. That's pretty cool. And then the front suspension works on both sides. You can trust me on that. 
All right, so now you flip open the body and we get to the real show. Look at how nicely this is done in here, guys. I have to show off all of this detailing and I have to say it's absolutely amazing. Look at all of this. You got plumbed wired motor. You have the intake up here, which is different than what the mongoose used or the snake. Sorry. I still want to get the snake, which is the next piece I'm thinking about getting. People ask me what my holy grail probably a 124th is. And I have to say now, it is probably this now, my cats. So this thing really, I will say, is the cat's meow when it comes to all the detailing in this thing. Just look at how amazingly nicely done this piece is. Oh my, and I wanted to tell you, suspension on this side definitely does work, as you can see. It's got coil springs, I believe. Let me see, in this one I think it had the suicide front end, so this basically had pretty much no brakes. Like I said, this is almost, mm, I will say Danbury Mint or Franklin Mint, very nice level of detailing, you even got the headers. The only thing they didn't do is make these black, but other than that, this model is nice, I must say. And I have to really get up close so you guys can appreciate all these nuances of detailing in here. It's just extremely nice. You even see fuel lines, you got the pressure regulator for the main part of the fuel. It is just amazing in here, guys. <laughs> Gotta say, I'm absolutely astounded with the detailing. We're gonna take one more look at that on the other side. As you can see, the inside, they definitely didn't skimp on anything. They've got the riveted interior. We'll get to the undercarriage in a second, but just look at how nicely just done that is. It's amazing that they put into this model back in these days, and even back then, it is absolutely crisp. And amazing here is the undercarriage now one thing I want to add the wheelie bars actually have a little actuation mechanism that allows them to have some level of suspension and these actually do roll which has the rip cords here which is really cool and these actually flex with the body when you open it so that's a really cool feature these are actual braided rip cords which is pretty darn cool and yeah sure okay I thought this wheel was out of alignment interesting but yeah just a very very extremely extremely nice model the only thing that this is missing is a Larry Wood signature but I will say this is a very cool piece and the whoops did I accidentally hit the wheelie bar yes I did all right so I bet you guys are waiting on a J-Rod score. Well, hmm. I'm going to say this model is a full 10 out of 10. I can't lie. I can't say enough about this piece. This model for me is a full 10 out of 10 on the J-Rod meter. This is an extremely beautiful piece. If you have the chance to pick it up, I recommend it. All right, guys. I will catch you on the flip side. I will see you later. This has been my channel for my reviews and uh, my final thoughts on this car. If you can pick up a Larry Wood piece, especially the Legends line, I would definitely get it. There wasn't much to cover on this car, but my God, this thing is detailed. Like I said, I want to get a case for this pretty much as soon as possible to keep dust off this thing because this is a pristine model. This is something that you're not going to find, especially, like I said, with that genuine Larry Wood sticker. That is really cool. Something that is part of history. Again, I need to get the 164 scale to go with this one, but this model is just extremely nice. Um, if you have the means to pick it up, I recommend it. Like I said, it's got the actual roll bars. It's just really nicely done. I can't gush enough over how nice this model is. Like I said, the working suspension that I didn't even know actually worked is really cool. The fact that that all actuates the wheelie bars work, 
I had no idea this model had this level of detailing and wow just what they put together here is literally the whole package in terms of a mongoose car now again you can get one of the 1320 legends pieces in the series for a lot cheaper and of course I do plan to get a few of Tom's cars but and snake himself but honestly this model you're not going to find this every day on eBay. This was just something I happened to hunt down and find, which is pretty amazing in itself. So the fact that I hunted this model down and found it and I'm able to just gloss over uh, this absolutely amazing detail that this car has. Like I said, I've shown you the uh, inside and the outside of this. I don't know what else to show you and go over but it's extremely amazing in terms of execution, in terms of just detail. Interestingly enough, the picture on there has the round bug catcher, but interestingly enough, this model doesn't. So this was probably done only one and done a couple of times. So that's a pretty cool model to have if you're a Hot Wheels enthusiast, if you're a model enthusiast, this is just extremely nice if you're after legends and trust me if you guys like legends i've got two more sets of 164 scale coming you're not going to want to miss those stay tuned for more see ya jman 63 out all right bye